Hello friends, we are not employed by Fang Company Solutions of Lead Coding will be kept there. Today we are going to do contains duplicate lead code problem and if we see some of the companies where I want to work at who have already asked this question, there are companies like Amazon, Adobe, Apple, Google, Microsoft, Facebook, Bloomberg, Uber, Yahoo and Airbnb have already asked this question so that's why I am paying my utmost attention. I hope you also enjoy the video. So this is a lead code easy problem and basically we are given an integer array called nums and we need to check that whether this nums contains any duplicate values or not. If it contains the duplicate values we need to return true. If the, it does not contain a duplicate value we need to return false. So let's try to understand this with couple of examples. So in the first example over here we are given four values inside this array 1, 2, 3 and 1. We can see that this number 1 actually appears twice which means that there contains a duplicate. So in this case we will return true. Uh, if we take another example in the second input we are given four distinct value 1 2 3 4 and all the values are distinct so that's why there is no there are no duplicate entries so in this case we can return false let's see that what would be the different approaches to solve this problem uh, suppose we are given an example that looks like this now in the brute force what we are going to do is we are going to compare every single value with all the other values that are present inside this given array so first of all we will take this value number one and we will see that in the rest of the remaining array does one appear again or not if it does not appear then we will move on to the next value and again we will repeat the same process so first of all we will take this value number one now this uh, all these four values they are not one which means we can define that one does not appear any time in this given array uh, now we check for this value number two uh, for the value number two if we check over here these two are not two but this is actually a true so the moment we identify that there exists a value that we are already searching for uh, if that is present inside this given array we can return true immediately uh, that yes uh, this input contains duplicates and this would be the answer in this case this brute force solution works as expected but uh, if we see the time and space complexity in this case the time complexity is actually going to be big o of n square why n square because for every single element we will have to compare all the other remaining elements and then again we will repeat the same process for uh, all the remaining characters which means that uh, the time complexity becomes big o of n square so let's see that how can we improve upon that now one way to improve our brute force solution is by using sorting let's try to understand this with an example suppose we take this input and we create a sorted input we will get a sorted array that looks like this now inside the sorted array all we will have to do is just compare any two adjacent values. So first of all we compare this one with this value number two. They are both not same which means we can ignore this case. Now we compare this two with this next value which is also two. Which means because these two are same we can determine that there exists a duplicate in this case and we can return true immediately. So if we see the time complexity in this case the time complexity is actually going to be big O of n log n. Why n log n? Because we will have to convert this nums to the sorted array and that, talk, that takes n log n time. After doing this, uh, checking that whether it contains the duplicate or not only takes big O of n time. But the thing is, uh, this we, generically we can write this as big O of n log n. And if we see this uh, time complexity, this is a much bigger improvement than our brute force approach which, which had the time complexity of big O of n square. But let's see that whether we can do anything better with this and whether we can find an optimal solution for this one as well. Now for the optimal solution what we are going to do is we are actually going to use an additional data structure and in terms of additional data structure we are going to use a hash set. Now the idea is that first of all we will check that uh, any value we are iterating over in this given input if that is already present inside this hash set or not. If it is present we can return true immediately. If it is not present we will add that entry to the hash set and then we will start uh, iterating over the next element with the same procedure. So let's see that in action. First of all we will check for this value number 1. So 1 is not present inside the hash set so we will add an entry called one over here now we are at this position number two two is again not present inside this hash set so we will add an entry called two over here uh, three and four both are not present so again we will add entry for three and four over here now again we are at this value number two now uh, when we check that whether it contains inside the hash set or not we can immediately say that it exists inside the hash set because we al already have an entry over here and we can do this in constant time because hash set the finding operation takes big O of one time or constant time so that's why it is it becomes really efficient for us so in this case we can return true immediately that hey we are at the position where we where this array contains the duplicate value uh, and somehow if we reach to the end of this uh, array and we don't find any duplicate entries inside this our hash set then we can return false in that case as well. So if we see the time and space complexity in this case the time complexity is actually going to be big O of n only because we have to iterate this given input once nothing more than that. 
if we see the space complexity in this case the space complexity is actually going to be big of n as well because we have to create an additional data structure hash set where we will store all the elements that are present inside this given input first of all we are going to create a hash set called visited now we are going to iterate over this given input nums so inside our for loop first of all we are going to check that the value we are visiting if that is present inside our visited hash set or not if it is present which means we can return true immediately that there exists a duplicate if it is not present we will add an entry to our hash set and in any case if we get out of the loop uh, we can determine that we did not find any duplicate when entries and we can return false in this case now let's try to run this code Okay, seems like our code is working as expected. Let's submit this code. And our code runs pretty efficiently compared to a lot of other solutions. I would be posting this in the comments so you can check it out from there. Thank you.